on the couch. You're locked into the NFL on EA Sports. Straight ahead, we'll see fifth-year quarterback Marcus Mariota and the Tennessee Titans as they take on the new man, Nick Foles, and the Jacksonville Jaguars. With that, let's get on up to Jacksonville. Standing by for the call, it's our broadcast team of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Thanks, Coach. Originally opened in 1995 as Jacksonville Municipal Stadium when this franchise entered the NFL. We welcome you to Jacksonville and TIAA Bank Field. This crowd excited to see their Jaguars as both teams emerged from their tunnels a moment ago. We are just about ready for football as the Jags get set to match up with the Tennessee Titans. From the booth, Brandon Gordon and Charles Davis. And Charles, this AFC South, the only division with three teams over 500 a year ago. Now here in 2019, this may be the most wide open division in the National Football League. In addition, it's a really improved division because for years, remember Indianapolis ran this division. Then Houston popped up and they took over. Jacksonville almost went to the Super Bowl just two seasons ago. And Tennessee was in the playoffs two years ago and almost got back there again last year. You're exactly right. This is a wide open division. Should be a fun one to watch. The children will grow. It's the final weekend of summer, but we've got the NFL and we're underway on EA Sports. This is taken at the three. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. Coming off a three-touchdown performance in week one, Marcus Mariota bringing out this Tennessee offense. By the way, throwing those three touchdown passes against the Browns in week one, first time that he's had three in a game since 2016. So it's been a while, but he looked pretty sharp. He certainly did. And remember, he's got Delaney Walker back, fully healthy at tight end, and he played well. They picked A.J. Brown out of Ole Miss in the draft, wanting to add another big-time player outside. And he had two receptions of over 40 yards against Cleveland. So he justified that selection right out of the gate. Look, they only had six total 40-yard receptions in all of 2018. So that scouting department got on it and really helped out their quarterback. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Play fake to Henry. Now Mariota. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Brandon, it looked like he had his hands on it for a moment, but let's face it, that was going to be a tough catch all the way because of the presence of the defense right there as he was trying to haul it in. Yeah, nice job to force the incompletion. Here's second and 10 now from the 35. Now a first-time 1,000-yard rusher from a season ago. It's Derrick Henry. And this looks a lot like the last play. Behind the line of scrimmage, he's tackled for the second straight go-around. Great job by this Jacksonville D. Anytime you call an inside running play, you just know there should be a lot of congestion there. You're counting on your offensive line to take control of the line of scrimmage. That didn't happen in this case, and that play got bottled up. Now Mariota. That's complete to Taewon Taylor. 13 yards is the pickup for Tennessee and a first down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Off play action to Henry. Here's Mariota. And that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. The intended receiver, Taewon Taylor. And that'll bring up second down. It's always a battle. Who's going to win on first down? The offense or the defense? Let's face it. If you've got the ball, four yards or more on first down is what you're aiming for. They tried to throw for it there. Nice effort to knock that one away and bring up second down. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Mariota. And he will avoid the contact as he slides to a stop. All that gets him is just a yard, and now it's third down. He's a gain of a yard, and it's third down. 
No score after one on EA Sports. Second quarter now, Titans in possession of the football. They're staring up at a third and nine to start it out. the opening possession they were looking for, especially on the road. No doubt about it, because they wanted to come out and establish a little momentum right away, but now bringing up a fourth down, an empty possession, not what they were seeking. On fourth down, here's the AFC Pro Bowl punter the last two years. That's Brett Kern to kick it for Tennessee. Back deep for the Jags, D.D. Westbrook. And a little too much mustard on that one. It hits a couple yards into the end zone. A missed opportunity there maybe to pin them back. So here are the Jags now set to get their first drive. They're led onto the field by the former third-round pick back in 2012, and that's the quarterback, Nick Foles. Love his build, love his arm. Had a Pro Bowl season with the Philadelphia Eagles, looking to scale those heights once again. Here we go, here we go, here we go. 180! Let's go one more. Here we go. Now Foles. He'll find O'Shaughnessy open left side. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. I like how they worked the tight end on a nice little under route there. And if you're going to give him that much space, he's not even going to catch the football. He's going to run away from you a little bit. And that's exactly what he just did there, picking up extra yardage. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Here's Foles. Caught here by Conley. That throw good for four. It's second down. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. The slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Foles. Looking middle. And it's incomplete. He was looking for James O'Shaughnessy as tight end. And that takes us from second to third down. All right, that one fell incomplete there, but the best quarterbacks, they'll miss on 40% of their throws somewhere in that neighborhood, similar to a great hitter in baseball who's going to fail seven out of ten times and still have a great year. In this case, you want perfection, but way better that it hits the ground instead of going to an opposite color jersey. Now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. Well, that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, you'll open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, have them back on their heels. On fourth down, on is Logan Cook to punt. Back deep, Adore Jackson. And did they keep it in? They did. They kept it in. It's down to close to the goal line at the one-yard line. Amazing. Perfectly placed. If that ball goes one extra yard, maybe not even an extra yard, the starting point is the 20. So there is a reason that a lot of punters are also excellent golfers. They know distance control. You know what else they have? Same groove motion over and over. Once they have that down, it repeats under pressure. Jacksonville score. 
So the defense forces the fumble. They get the score. And a guy on defense becoming offensive there, Charles. And you know they love that. Any guy on defense loves to pick up the ball and have it in his hands and try and score himself. In this case, that's exactly what happened. He'll be singing in the shower post game. Josh Lambeau now for the point after. And this is up and good. The score now 7-0 Jaguars. The scoop and score, always an exciting play in football, and we witnessed it there, grabbing it off the ground and then rumbling it into the end zone for six. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he's able to get it across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down at the 21-yard line. A chance here as Tennessee comes back onto the field to talk about what they did to Cleveland in week one. I think that was probably the biggest surprise around the league. Cleveland with all those expectations, but the Titans thumped them 43 to 13. And you'll back me up here, right? Did I not tell you prior to this game that Tennessee would beat Cleveland? You did. I mean, this is one that I saw coming, but not in this way. I didn't see, what was it, 43-13? Yeah. I did not see that, but I thought Tennessee would go into Cleveland and win. This is a team that has the potential to have a top five defense and an offense that can be scary with all the weapons that they've added. The completion good for three, and it's second down. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. Second down, Mariota, and an alley to run. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Now Here Tennessee going to use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Side, it's Lewis. It's funny, throughout the time that we've been together, when we talk with running backs about the ability to catch the ball, their eyes light up when they talk about open field and having one-on-one -on -one matchups, don't they? Yeah, they do. And that's the reason why. What we just saw, shedding those tackles, and that's what they're used to doing. It is, and it starts at the beginning of the play. One-on-one -on -one matchup of someone trying to cover them, but they also like those one-on-ones downfield after the catch when they're running with the ball. They think they're going to win those, too. And that is caught. Walker, touchdown Titans. Delaney Walker, 54 yards as they are now on the board here in the first half. And a little time left on the clock, so on the other side, they're thinking, gosh, we'd like to get that lead right back. Yeah, thanks for pointing that out. Here I am <laughs> going ahead and tapping out the first half. Well, There's still time. Way. They've got to make a decision about what they want to do on the kickoff, where they want to let their return guy touch it. Extra point up and good by Suckup. And that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime.
So only even at seven now as they kick it away. Fielded about a yard deep. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. But for Jacksonville, as they take the field here again on offense, tough start to the season. Not only do you play Kansas City and you lose, you also lose your quarterback, Nick Foles. Now, look, Gardner Minshew came in, did a nice job, but, but where do they go from here, Charles? Well, we all know they're going to try and lean heavily on Leonard Fournette running the ball, but you would think every defense would stack the line of scrimmage and see how that works out and then try and dare Gardner Minshew to beat him over the top. So that means that those receivers out wide, they'll have to start making some big-time plays for him. Marquise Lee, D.D. Westbrook, Chris Conley, D.J. Chark, they've got to pick up their quarterback, help their offense out, until they can get Nick Foles back running things again. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. They'll keep it on the ground again here. And obviously not fooling anybody here as they stop him behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. Perfectly designed blitz right there. They took that one from the grease board to the field because they were able to free up their linebacker to get into the backfield and spill the play. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. Once again, they'll keep it on the ground. And he's going to be taken down here still a couple yards short of the first. An abbreviated halftime show as we get rolling to quarter three. Ready to go for the second half. One touchdown apiece. 7-7 seven, seven our score. Fielded about a yard deep. Solid return. Pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. Out come the Jaguars now as they'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. They have a chance to break our tie here as we get a look at the first drive of quarter three. And it's such a tone setter, isn't it? Because both sides trying to seize momentum to begin the half. What do they have dialed up that'll give them an advantage to move the ball downfield? Let's find out what they have dialed up. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Hey, tight, tight down, tight down. There you go. Second half beginning with a run from Fournette. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. Uh, he lost six there on the first down play. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. Now on second and 16, Foles, man open as Keelan Cole complete. Complete to Keelan Cole. It's a game of 11, brings up third and five. Here we go, here we go. An extra defensive back out there for the Titans now here for third down. They'll set up to throw. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down. And that's what he just did. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. And the coverage terrific there as that's knocked down and incomplete. 
This defense trying to do its part, active hands on that play, but their offense hasn't given them much to work with. So they're not going to worry about it. On their side of the ball, all they're concerned about, can they create some scoring opportunities and help out that offense? Go! So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. First by him near the 35. 22 yards there, a first down. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him? Either fellow receivers or offensive linemen. That makes that play a really nice timing play. And sometimes it can break big. Back to throw here. This throw to the middle taken in by Cole. And down inside the 15 he goes. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Back now in Jacksonville. All even as we get ready to start the fourth. Be alert, be alert. Right there in the middle, 55. And hey, let's pin the mirrors back and go full strength. Here we go. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. This will be caught just inside the 10. Now a loose football. The ball comes out. It's picked up by the Titans. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Wow, so they were already in field goal range. Now this and a completely new story to tell. And frankly, what they're going to say when they review this game and go over it, they're going to tell the offense, he had one job. All right, you knew what you had to get done. You knew where we wanted to kick the field goal from. You know, you know our range. Just take care of the football, and we win the game. Mariota now after the fumble recovery. Throw taken in by Taylor, left side. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. That goes for a gain of 31. That gets them the first down, but they've still got to move quickly here. First down now, but that clock rolling. Here's Mariota. He finds Taylor, complete. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. I don't know that those medium five-ish yard gains are going to do it right now. Probably should have dropped it, right? Yeah, that way you save more time on the clock. But I know receivers, they think they can catch it and break a tackle and turn it into a big game. Titans moving quickly here. They're in the hurry up. Mariota. Stepping up, he'll try and run. And he slides to avoid the hit. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Jaguars' 38-yard line. How many times have we seen this late in the fourth quarter? Because you know the pass rush is getting after him, and they get upfield, get that great push, and what do they create? Space, and he takes off. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Gives to Henry. The Titans going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop him with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Again, it's Henry. Now Tennessee going to use the second of their timeouts as he'll stop it with 27 seconds showing on the clock. with Henry and he gets the first down here as he's taken down at the 24. They're able to convert with a gain of four. Let's 
So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. And the clock will now stop as a timeout is called with five seconds left. On now is Ryan Suckup for the field goal try. His first attempt of the afternoon, and it's for the win. And the 10-year vet knocks it through the goalposts, and it's celebration time on that sideline as they have taken the lead in the final seconds. And I tell you, when it comes to needing a field goal in closing seconds, pressure situation, there's something to be said for having a veteran kicker trot out there. Agreed. It's so nice to have someone you can rely on, someone who you know has done it before. And this guy's as cool as they come, isn't he? Suckup now set to kick it off following the main field goal. This is taken at the three. Well, this one, partner, was fun down at the very end. They got the points late right before the whistle. Then the ensuing kickoff. They were hoping for magic on the other side but couldn't get that spark. Fun if you won and fun <laughs> for us because we 